So we can use the graphics and spreadsheet view to quickly analyze the line of best fit. Um, so we can have students enter in values, we can give them the X and Y values, and then quickly plot them, apply the tool, and then even play at the points to see how that affects our line. So for X values, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for our Y values, we'll do 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, and 7. Now, if we highlight this section right here, oops, let me go over, sorry. And then right click, we can just go to create and then create a list of points to see what these points look like. So in our graphics view, we can move over and I'm going to change the X axis layout by right clicking, clicking our graphics and trying to have this match. So we'll have our X and our Y values do the same thing here. So we're going to 78.99 and then we're going from negative 65. 0.94, we're just matching the X and Y values here. So now I can zoom in to understand what's happening because I had the scale set a little bit off. So we have this nice layout of points right here. All we have to do is click our tool over here for best fit line. And then we can go like this and drag around the points and it generates the line. We would probably right click, of course, and then go to our object properties and change the color of this object just to highlight what's happening. And there we have it. Now what's fun is if we take a point like D and we move it, we can see how it impacts the line. Right? And what it means to have a line of best fit. To understand the nature of outliers. So we have two of these. Right, look what happens to our line. We can really see how this affects. And we can see how outliers balance each other out. There's so all kinds of options here. We can even create sliders so that let's say we have another point G. Well, let's have first create a variable. So the variable we call it B it goes from negative 5 to positive 5. And let's have point G equal B, our variable, comma, 2B. So there's the point G. And as we adjust G, move it up and down, right? If we go back and include it in our best fit line, these points right here, Go to our object properties and just let's delete the other one or hide it. Now, as we move B, right, we can see how the line actually moves to understand what's happening. Right, so there's all kinds of options here, but the idea is you can quickly find a line of best fit and quickly adjust the points to see how they affect that line to just even make an intuitive and reasonable conclusion about the line of best fit. Thanks.